Uh, you painted a rather rosy picture of the government's progress in addressing the problems of the health service. A very different picture was uh, presented by the Irish uh, Hostable, Hostable, Hospital Consultants Association on Friday uh, uh, with a press statement they put out detailing that there are now 893,000 people on, so, on some form of National Treatment Purchase Fund waiting list, further 250,000 people waiting for diagnostic scans. Hospital cancellations, they say, could exceed a quarter of a million this year if the rate continues, with 85,000 operations and appointments already cancelled to the end of April. Uh, emergency department attendances increased by 38%, 461,000 over the past decade, with average wait times now approaching 12 hours, double the target in 2013. Uh, they say it is the first time in six months that the number of people on the outpatient waiting list has totaled over 600,000. Uh, and they ask uh, about the announced rapid bill programme to deliver 1,500 additional beds uh, and whether the 1 billion euro uh, capital budget increase necessary to deliver this uh, that it hasn't been secured and is the government committing to that? Thank you Deputy, Deputy Smith. Uh, again just want to put on the record of the House that there are 20,000 more people working on a health service uh, now than at the start of 2020 uh, including 2,000 extra doctors and 6,000 extra nurses. Um, one would be forgiven for thinking that our entire health service uh, workforce had emigrated to Australia. Uh, this of course is not the case. Um, People are going in both directions, uh, and overall, uh, we've been able to increase the number of people working on our health service, including uh, the number of doctors, nurses, midwives, dentists, uh, and therapists over the past uh, three years. And this year, the target is to, is to increase the size of the health service workforce by a further 6,000, uh, and we believe that's uh, going to be achieved. Um, in terms of uh, uh, staffing, um, I think everyone acknowledges that we have a huge uh, challenge in staffing our health service given the rising demand and the availability of new treatments and therapies. Uh, it's not a challenge unique to Ireland. It's the same problem in Northern Ireland, in Britain, in Germany, in Australia, in Canada. Everyone is competing internationally for staff because everyone is short. Um, but the kind of things we're doing, for example, as well as improving pay, uh, is uh, increasing the number of training places um, for nurses, for doctors, for GPs, uh, for midwives, for therapists, uh, and also we're engaging in increased uh, um, international recruitment. We now have a very attractive consultant contract, uh, a quarter of a million euros a year, uh, if you compete, if you commit to public practice, um, and that's a pretty good offer in my view, uh, and we believe that there are uh, doctors and consultants you, in other jurisdictions who may be willing to take that up. Thank you, Tishuk. Uh, now we have...